Hey everybody, welcome back to another recap of Love After Lock Up. We are inching closer and closer to the season finale, which is next week. Yeah. Um, and right after that, we roll right into um, Love After Lock, Life After Lock Up, excuse me, with, I gotta be honest, why do they... Do, do they not market research to figure out who they should cast on Life After Lockup? Because there's a lot of people on Life After Lockup that they just don't need to bring back. You like know what who? I mean? The white couple. <laughs> um, what white uh, what's his face? What's their face is supposed to come back to? I saw in a in a preview. Who? Um, um, Bobby Heenan and um, and. Um, oh, are they the coming back? That's what I saw. Oh, I didn't Maybe see that. Maybe I... Yeah. Yeah, this is but so nice. I... Mm, who do you want to start out with? Because I have so many thoughts and opinions on this episode. Sorry, I, I'm just... This bruise on my chin that came out of nowhere. It's just... It's like a ghost punched me. <laughs> oh, no. um, Ooh, what the fuck are you doing over there? I'm eating my Valentine's Day candy. I'm cheating on my diet. Okay. I'm gonna wait for you to finish opening it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Would you? Well, let me see what you got. Well, I got old-fashioned turtles. Mmm. Oh, very and, auntie. Yeah, and I got some um, Ferrero Rocher. Oh um, yes! Come on yeah. with the AARP candies. Yes, yes, yes. You know I stand them. Stand it all. Stand it all. Um, you know, I got I'm on and I'm on a diet, so like, oh, see, see, that's fancy. What? <laughs> it's, it's very Valentine's. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It is. I mean, but it's delicious. It's not like I eat them off. I'm about so. to. Yeah, I'm about to say like, although there's people who just go around eating chocolate covered strawberries, just like. For sport and it's which is like, so oh. random <laughs> like, yeah that's... a lot of people at fitness talk do it and i guess i get it because it's Dark a healthier yeah like yes okay but in my head it's like no that's what you use for like when you put all your uh fredericks of hollywood you know what i mean right like, like what <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes lift it up you know what i mean <laughs> um i we we don't do a, we don't do really do a lot of big Valentine's Day stuff. Wow. We just we're not and Tristan has the flu. So like I was mm. I was working and <laughs> taking care of Noah and Noah has a sinus infection. So that's what I was over mm. here doing on Valentine's Day. Um I'll tell you on the pre show what I was doing. <laughs> okay, we'll go into some more detail. Cause, um, yeah, because I have to tell you about how I went to a ball. <laughs> yes, you did. You went to a ball. Mm hmm. You did go to a ball. Mm hmm. Was it fun? <laughs> we'll Are you, should you tell me that on the pre show? Because. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything disparaging to say. Oh, okay. All right, great. I have, well. I'm not calling anybody, you know, like, this is bad, this is awful. But, you know, I'm not, you know, it's not going to get us canceled. I promise. <laughs> yeah, because you've been on a roll, motherfucker. And yeah. you got all the motherfucking, I don't even know what the Chloe and Hallie's are called. Or, you know what, really it's more about the Chloe. We didn't say that. <laughs> about how, and all we said was we didn't get Chloe. That was it. We just said we root for her. But we just... That's we what kills me, is that the they missed the whole part of the first, and I purposely posted that part. The We both did not say anything bad about her or no. them. We just said, we it's not for us. The music is not for me. It's not. And that particular song, they sounded like they were falling apart. And they did, and they still do, and I still ugly laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah. gone and played that song for the sole purpose of falling out. <laughs> <laughs> After you told me. I didn't even know it existed. Listen, and listen. I was like, oh my. 
They all, first it was din diddy and now it was just like, baby. No, first it was a thin thin, and then it was din diddy, and then oh. it was. Oh. <laughs> what do you want to start with here at Love After Life? Um, let's start with the druggy whites, uh, because. I know. <laughs> I know. Let's start with um, uh, nigger lover, and not in the normal sense of the term. <laughs> and well, and okay. prison barber. Oh yes. Okay. Maxonista. Prison barber. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. So let me get this out the way. I know we've said this before, but his nana's house is spooky. Baby, because okay. my very first note says nigger lover is sitting in an antique armchair. <laughs> In Jordan. In Jordan. And oh, I can't wait to get to the end of these notes because I wrote things down. Right. Oh, okay, yes. So, Babe, her house is so crazy. It's, it's motherfucking spooky. Okay. Oh my God. So um, we get into the deets of, of what happened from the last episode because they were all like, I don't want to talk about it. Apparently, they had been drinking. Well, they have two different versions of the story. Let's be clear. And I Her it version... <coughs> yeah. Yes. Her, his version is they was drinking, shit went left, they went to bed, woke up, it wasn't and they broke each other's phones. His version was she lied. To, she went out drinking with her friend and lied yeah. to him. Yeah. Her version, I went out with my home girl Katie, who we all know she's not supposed to be drinking unless she got out by now. Oh, maybe it's been 30 days. Yeah, maybe. I don't maybe. Think, I don't I don't know. Oh, yeah, cuz so. didn't her mother keep saying it's only been a month? Yeah, but we don't know what Katie's month yeah. is. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know if she <laughs> yeah. had twenty eight days. Yeah, so we, don't <laughs> we don't know because that know month could have started. Out, she didn't yeah, <laughs> she go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and shit on lunch breaks. Hmm. Sue, um, she was like her and Katie was you know like you know going around town, painting the town chartreuse, and you know had a couple drinks. She didn't answer her phone. No big deal. He starts blowing her phone up, thinking that he out with, uh, that she's out with men folks and doing all this nonsense. Child. She comes home, they get into a big argument Fuffle. and they break, yep, break each other's phones and that's that. I firmly believe more of her story than his. Mm-hmm. Because my next note is he's up he is up here being weird. Because he just had <laughs> like this creepy look around as if you now know. The house don't he, help, but <laughs> it doesn't. And I don't wanna call him an abuser. But my thing uh, I was he's like, emotionally he is like he's, he's, he's an emotional abuser, I'll give you that. He's gaslighty and manipulative. Yeah. But like yeah. not like but not good at it. He just, because yeah. she calls him out on it. Yeah, but my thing, my fear is safety. However, her mother took it to an extreme, and I was like, all right. I wasn't mad at it. Uh, come on. Let me tell you, no, hold on, no. No, 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 no. Because that bitch set up here and told us that she used to snort, smoke, whatever the fuck, however they consume she used to take six to seven hundred dollars worth of fentanyl a day and was like i don't know how i'm still alive so i don't blame her mother for driving her ass through a motherfucking cemetery and setting her boundaries her mother drove her through that cemetery and said let me tell you something if you die i will not visit you here 
So I'm telling you that while you're alive. So don't die. Because I'm not doing it. And mood. Okay? Because I too. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> it's so dramatic. Yeah, but this show is doing six to seven hundred dollars worth of fit all day. Like, fuck that. No, nigga, no. Is, no, I'm taking your ass to a motherfucker. <laughs> Bitch, you better listen. It, it better not be by the hands of no motherfucking fentanyl. I will not. No. Those are my boundaries. No, that's true. And I, I completely understand the sentiment. It also doesn't help that she looks like a lifetime actress. She does. So, <laughs> oh, Mike. So, so, yeah, so they're just walking, driving around this cemetery in a Subaru. And she's like, look at this. All these yeah. broken families and heartbrokenness. It was like a dark like, episode well, of Seven Heads. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, why did not everybody here died of alcoholism? Now that I did think, I was like, wait, some people yeah. was old. Some yeah, people was like, Walt Whitman was, was right sick. there. <laughs> like, some the people got hit by figures. a car. Like, why did the girl? Not everybody in here is. On yeah, drugs. this is not a land of broken Unless dreams. Unless this is some sort of like oh my drug allotment. <laughs> A drug cemetery. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh my god. All the souls together party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a Woo. groovy ass cemetery. Baby, the groovy ghoulies is out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Woo. Woo. So, they, um, you know, her mother is, like, really laying it on thick. Like, you need to break up with him without saying so many words. You know, She's saying like, you don't words. have to go. Why are you going back? You don't have to go back. I'm surprised she ain't even just, you know, just change the <laughs> GPS to just drive yeah. to another state, you know? Yeah. It sounds but like she does. She, she, she gives her her choices. That's the thing. That I I appreciate the way that her mother deals with her and her issues. Definitely a social worker. Yeah, it's like it's yeah. like yeah, either she has taken all the classes and applied all the learnings, had to, or had to. she's I don't know some sort of LMSW. But she um, she doesn't deal with her like even when she drove her through the cemetery. I know it sounds harsh, but she did. She wasn't. She wasn't like harsh with it she was just like listen this is the reality and then my reality is that i don't want to see you like this and yeah. also when it comes to your relation you're young you don't have to put all your eggs in this basket you can focus on yourself for a while i think he should focus she doesn't say disparaging things he needs to take time to focus on himself you need to time to take to, to focus on yourself so maybe you all can come together in a healthy manner like she she mm -hmm. she deals with her on a human level, and I appreciate that. Me too. Now, whether she's recept receptive of it is a different story. No, she's not. However, <laughs> however, <laughs> she does make a considerable effort to humanize her and give, and also provide her with the dignity of risk, which a lot of people don't do with people who are active users. You know, allow them to make the choices, and you know, now that yeah. you presented them with the facts and yes as dramatic and as quite funny as it was going to the cemetery it's this idea of like now you know the facts is like bitch i'm not coming to see you if you kill yourself on fentanyl so nah, be a lonely soul so oh. <clears throat> anywho um there's a lot of admittance to getting in you know duis on camera because <laughs> this whole episode everybody was just driving drunk um yeah. and she she gets she gets over to the crib to um you know where his where he lives at right I can't even know what I don't even want to call it a house it's like a it's like the Winchester Mystery House actually. yeah it's like the house with no windows or uh, like have you ever seen hill. Annabelle it's, yeah <laughs> it's the house with it. no I've never seen Annabelle. Oh my gosh. So I got to tell you a story one day. I don't know if I'll tell you right now, but when Crystal and I went to go see The Conjuring, because Annabelle and The Conjuring, it's a whole series. Is, An is Annabelle about a doll? Yep. I don't fuck with dolls. That's why I'm not going to go see Megan. I don't do that. I don't do that. I, that AI thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. why is that advertisement showing up on my shit? And I mm -hmm. clicked it. I said, what is this? 
And I clicked it and watched. Click, click, I click, sure. no, it was it, it wasn't it wasn't like a game. If for whatever god awful reason you want more Jaden XD, make sure you subscribe to us on Patreon.